Oh, wow, I forgot my chair. Hello, everybody. Sorry, I forgot to put my chair in its place. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm coming. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going to continue making embellishments today, of course. So here's the, look, I put all the ones I made this week in a bag. Hey, Lizzie. So I put all the embellishments that I made in a bag and I weighed them and it's almost a pound. So I made almost a pound of embellishments this week. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, Tanya. Oh, you're checking out my pound of embellishments. But I went out and I bought some new paper pads. Like, literally, I just bought them like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I just got back. Hey, Gina. Thanks for, sh uh, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I got this paper pad from Joann's. It says Botanical Beauty. And it's just really pretty paper. Let me know if you guys can hear me fine because I put my microphone in a different place. And it's a little bit farther away from my face. So I hope I don't have to yell or anything. But it's double-sided printed. Printed double-sided, sorry. <laughs> and I thought the, the prints are really pretty. I was looking. This is my type of paper, obviously, right here. Um, I was trying to... Look at this. This is beautiful. I was trying to find some paper. Perfect, perfect. I was trying to find some paper <clears throat> that's not too... Uh, it's pretty neutral. It's not too one way of a theme or another. Not bright colors. I didn't want any neons or anything, so I wanted it, you know, vintage looking. I wanted to, ooh, and it's got some nice foils there. Love it. So it's just really nice paper with really pretty nice neutral uh, papers printed on the back. So that's exactly what I was looking for. And they were half off, so I think this was like $8. Um, I think that's a fair price. Really pretty paper. So I got this, and I also got uh, these other little paper pads, because I cut them up anyways, right? I shred them up into little pieces, so I figured why not get little paper pads. So this has, again, I don't like this, but kind of vintage feel on the papers neutral colors not bright colors not neon neutral colors that'll go together with a lot of things then i also got this solid rose gold stack hey reem how are you and it has beautiful glitter and then it's got this like um let's see it's got this gold for oh hi <laughs> i'm in the reflection that's funny <laughs> uh, and then this really pretty texture shimmery paper check this out this is pretty nice holographic paper and this really chunky glitter i hope it cuts up okay i think i'm gonna have glitter everywhere and this really pretty shimmery paper so those are the paper pads I got so I want to work with these tonight oh oh I forgot and I also got this gold foil gold foil so it's just a bunch of um designs geometric patterns with gold foil really pretty but still kind of neutral nothing too bright just pretty patterns so I'm super excited about these paper pads uh, so I'm going to be ripping them up shortly. I just want to get a couple pieces. Oh, let me show you what else I've been doing. Um, I printed out some more of my ephemera um, sets. Really small. So some of them... Let me see if I have examples. Yeah, okay. So, so like this. Uh, I printed out some of the sets four pages to one page. This is one, this would actually print out as big as this, all of these pages. So I made the printer print out four pages on one page. And then on this one, it's one, two, three, this is nine pages on one page. So you can shrink them down really small, even though they're huge. 
and then you can work with them in different sizes. And so that's great. So I got my some different ephemera sets. Then I'm going to cut up right now some butterfly, uh, one of my butterfly sets. And I already have cut out some of the fruit labels printed out really small. Tiny, 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 really cute. Because these are huge. This is one whole page, basically. It's ridiculously big. And I'm super excited. I said this, like, last week. I said that I wanted to make little tiny pictures. So I printed out little tiny photos on photo paper. So they're, like, really teeny tiny photos. I really love them. They're adorable. These were, these, I printed these four pages of the ephemera sets on one. So that's the size they turned out. And they're, they're shiny because they are on photo paper. Now this photo paper is different than the photo paper that I have my mystery boxes in. I bought this from Walmart. It's like Walmart brand photo paper. And I tried it out, but I didn't like the way my cutter cut the photos. It like left little fuzzies on the side. Um, not with this trimmer, but I noticed that as I was cutting them, I was getting my ink, my fingers were all filled with black ink because I was having to touch the photos to cut them. Like, wow, I'm glad I didn't sell these, but they work for the little embellishments I'm about to make. I made a bunch of them, a bunch. Okay, so let me just cut out some of these butterflies and then I'm going to start cutting up the paper pads. Uh, let's see. I'm going to be on for a long time, so it's kind of starting off slow here because I have to cut out a bunch of stuff. But I do plan on going live for at least two hours minimum. Probably longer than that. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how I feel. Um, I want to buy the printables, but can you? Yeah. I can definitely print them out for you. You have to, you pick out your, your sets, so you add them to your cart, and they're, the titles, in the titles of my uh, listings, it says how many pages are included, so it'll say 30 pages, 10 pages. So you add those to your cart, and then you have to um, add the print service. I'll get you the link to the print service. Let me see one second. Shop. It's under shop services. There it is. So you add the kits to your cart and then you have to pick the print service of the pages that you want to buy. So it's either uh, 20, 40, 60, and 100, I believe. Or 20, 20 and 60... There's the different options there. It's been a while since I've looked at them. I think it's 20, 40, and 60. And these are printed out really small and they look really cute. Because they're totally little. These are going to work for the little collages we're going to make. Oh, and I got one over here. So I have been having so much fun going live with you guys this week, making all these embellishments. Next week, I'm going to make stuff on, uh, or make stuff out of book pages. So I'm going to make like pockets and we're going to make some tags and a bunch of other stuff I've seen other people do. We're going to try it out and see if we like it. Hopefully it goes well. I gotta set. I gotta um, prep some stuff this weekend for it. If you've seen Gail, uh, Gail Greenfield's videos, then you know that she does some prep work before the videos. You'll see what kind of prep work she talks about. Cause she makes them too. You gotta like glue a bunch of uh, pages together and stuff. <laughs> okay, let me see. And I also got a bunch of new threads too. Let me show you. 
the colors aren't too exciting, but it was a good deal. And just brown and about black. Okay, so these were like seventy-four cents at my uh, Joanne's. It's a hundred and fifty yards. So this is pretty green, like almost like an emerald green. Almost almost like a military green, but a little bit more teal. Black. Olive green. To give it a little bit vintage look. This almost like pale yellow. It looks a little bit more darker on the screen. I don't know. The screen makes it look weird. And this brown. It's like a... It just says chestnut, so it's like a reddish brown. So I thought those colors were cute. I gotta buy more bobbins. <laughs> I gotta keep buying more bobbins so I can always have them loaded up. Oh, my colors. Okay. Go. I would have had these cut out if I did it if I hadn't gone to Joanne's. <laughs> but I'm like, no, I feel like I need a new Peter Pad. Sometimes you just gotta buy a new paper pad, you know? Get the juices flowing too. Hey, everybody. Hey, Carrie. Thanks for joining me tonight. I think I'm gonna start going live on Junk Journal Junkies, etc. on Fridays. Or I'll talk to, um, I'm gonna have to talk to the admin about it. I do like, but it's a really nice group. I really enjoy being in the group. Oh, this cutter's not good for small stuff, though. It's kind of a paint cut little things. Okay. And then... And I also cut out, I have these little ephemeras, smaller than this. So that's four pages on a page. And this is eight pages, on, nine pages on a page. So you see the size difference. <laughs> and then I also printed out some really pretty rose things. We'll see what we'll do. Also, I'm going to bring out my flower die cuts. So those are fun. And, okay, we'll just deal with that ephemera that I have. I will cut these out. These are pretty easy to cut out. Oh, all this rest of this stuff i got to cut out. Put these away. I just find things distracting sometimes, and I need to put them away. <laughs> sometimes they get in my way. Let me cut this part out here. I like to cut this this way. Will the scan and cut work on these prints? Yeah. On these ones, yes. Yes, it would. But they're pretty square. Some sets are not so square, and those are the ones I'll use scan and cut. But when they're pretty square, I'll just cut them out. But I do have some sets that are specifically meant for the scan and cut. Hello. Hi, Aristi. What happened? Am I not live? What happened with what? What happened? 
Hello, what happened? I was quiet. Oh my gosh. Hey, April. Hey, Adisti. Thanks for joining me tonight, y'all. I went out and I bought some new paper pads, so I'm excited about it. I haven't bought paper pads in a long, long time. I refreshed. Okay. Is everything okay? <laughs> I'm doing good tonight, Adisti. How are you? I hope you're okay, too. Okay, good. Because for a minute there, like when I used to go live in summertime, I was having internet problems. So it wouldn't surprise me if it was my issue. But I had them fix it. <laughs> it's 7 a.m. I just woke up and opened up YouTube and finally catch you light. Yes, 7 o'clock in the morning. That's early. Okay, so I'm trying to cut these up here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see. Hello. Good morning. April and Carrie, yes. It's a party over here. <laughs> okay, so cutting up. Oh, my God. You guys haven't seen the little... Look. Look what I did, you guys. I printed out my photo sets on photo paper. Super tiny. Look how cute that is. They're like so little. And they're, they, you know, they're actual photos because they're, you know, they're shiny. They're so cute. <laughs> I'm too excited about them. <laughs> I said last week I wanted to do that. And look at me now. They're so cute. April, did I tell you I can't cut chip? I can't cut game boards. My cutter won't do it. Maybe there's like thinner game boards than others. Because the first set I was able to do, and then after that, oh no, the first couple sets I was able to do. And after that, my cutter just like jammed up. It was so weird. Even my second cutter did it. Terrible. Things happen though, it happens. Hey Julie. Should come medium and light. I don't know, maybe they're too heavy duty. They're pretty thick. I don't know. Maybe there's different things I should have looked out for when I looked for the game boards. I'm thinking maybe those children books that are all chipboard might be a good uh, alternative. I'm thinking. Like I said, it cut it a couple times and then after that it jammed. And that's when I got the replacement. And then it jammed again because I tried to cut more. <laughs> I thought maybe it was just the one I got. But no, not, not the golden books. The children's chipboard books. They're just like, you know, every page is chipboard. Or thick 
cardboard I should know I don't know what it's called it is thick 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 chipboard almost like the game boards but not really I don't know if I have any um, in stock in my inventory okay we'll just say we'll just call it a day on these for now Okay, let's get this put away. Too much trash. Okay. So. So that we don't have to cut a lot of other stuff up. I think I'm going to just use this paper pad here. Because otherwise I'd have to cut every page in half and uh, I don't feel like doing that. So we're just going to work with this paper pad. And it's called Simple Life by, I don't know, Jen Hadfield, I guess. Okay. Okay, let me get this out of the way. So let's see which papers. This one's cute. I don't like this paper. It's so ugly. Guess we could use that one. Why is this brown cow? That, that's not cute. Those are thick, thick too, though. Probably. Just my look. A little purple music book. It's pretty. Basically, I guess I'll just cut them all up. <laughs> At the right, I'm picking them. They're all just really cute. Let me get my straight edge, which I guess will be this today. I don't know where my other thing is. Okay. You got your turquoise thread. <laughs> oh, this won't work as a straight edge. Wow, that sucks. There is my board. Where? Oh, I just hit the lights. Oh, I just realized I didn't have all the lights facing this way. Wow, no wonder it looked dark. Real cool, Daisy. Oh my goodness. Where's my board? One second, I gotta go look for it. Ugh, I don't see it anywhere. Oh my god. Oh, no, that's not it. I guess I could just use a book. Alright, we're just gonna use a book. Because I can't find my scoreboard. It's normally just around. That's so weird. Okay, whatever. just a little bit more jacket than normal. I really don't like that. That really bothers me. <laughs> um, wow, you guys. I don't know where it is. And I'm surprised that I don't know where it is. Because it's not really just around, just like there all the time. Oh, no. Wait, let me see. I don't know if this will work. I don't know. I'll sleep. Oh my god. Just this ruler. I wonder if this is a good substitute. Ugh. <laughs> Desperate times, you guys. Desperate times. There we go. That'll work. Desperate times. <laughs> okay, and then I like to make little strips on the floor. <laughs> it's probably on the floor. What you're working on? I know you can't tell because I'm doing little things, but yeah, I'm working on embellishments today. Layered ones. But I'm doing all the slow work first. <laughs> I 
because I got a new paper pet. I just had to try out. <laughs> Otherwise, because I, I have a bunch of other scraps, I just decided to just decided to do this now. <laughs> For no reason. Cut a thin strip. In strips this way, and I want to do a thicker one, and I can do two this way. Okay, and so basically, that's what I'm going to do with all of them. I make small strips. A couple of them. Going different directions. Hello, Annette. How are you? Hey, Lori. Thanks for joining me. And then I make thicker strips. And then I make blocks, so bigger pieces. And I just repeat, strip. This one doesn't matter what direction I cut it in. off the second layer there. It's okay. If I spend fifty dollars, do I get fifty percent off? Or if you have fifty dollars in your um cart, you'll spend twenty five dollars. So anything over fifty dollars in your cart will be fifty percent off. And there's no code needed. You just have to have that much in your cart. This hurts my hands, that's no fun. All right, so we got a bunch of them already. I'm just gonna do these ones. Hopefully we find some stuff that match here. Otherwise, we'll go back and cut up more. So there are more. I wanna cut out the whole pad, but I don't know if we all have time for that. <laughs> I should have been more prepared for this, but like I said, I went out shopping. <laughs> Uh, 30 minutes before, before I had to go live. <laughs> I just had to have paper pad. I've been wanting to go to Michael's all day, but my husband takes the car to work, so I had no choice but to wait. This one is pretty. I doing? <laughs> Thank you for the link, April. Yes, I have moved over to my own private Etsy store. And you can reach it by that link, or you can go to tsunamirose.net and you'll be directed to that link. My whole store right now is 50% off. 
until further notice. Let's do there. Okay, some nice stash there. Now I'll have to make a journal with this paper pad and the other paper pad. I'll have to do it. But um, if you guys join me next week, same time, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'm going to be playing with book pages. All sorts of book page related projects. So I'm going to make book page pockets and book page tags, etc, etc. I'm going to check out April's, what did you call it, a potucepalope or something? <laughs> you had a fun name for it. It's like a pocket envelope and a tuck spot or something, I think is what it stands for, April. A patucepalope. These lemons are staring at me like, use me. Lemons. I love lemons. And all the paper pads over at Michael's are 50% off, you guys. Not enabling, but just saying. It's the truth. Facts are facts in America. You know what I'm saying? It's 50% off. <laughs> Just like my store. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, sorry we're starting off slow. <laughs> Would have been better if I'd been prepared, but I wasn't. I guess I could also use brown. Oh, that dark red. <gasps> yes, I should use the dark red thread on this. Okay, done. I already threaded the white one, but nope. Not going to do it. I'm going to change the plan. <laughs> Let's stretch this video out some more. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're just making, we're just making a mess here. Don't mind us. What? Are you selling the things that you make here? How you sew them together? Um, uh, no, I don't sell those. Not yet. I probably should. I have so much of the stuff. I probably will because I literally have so much of it. I, I don't think I could ever use it up. So I'll probably sew it up and I will sell it. I don't know when, so that's what I'm not saying. I don't know when I would want to do that. That would be some work. But it would be fun. I don't know if anybody else would be interested in buying them, but I could just because I'd have an excess amount of them. Okay. I gotta cut these out because they're more neutral patterns, too. <laughs> Have a nice pile here going. These are more neutral patterns, so I kind of want them too because I kind of pick a lot of lab patterns. 
So I want to pick some neutrals also. To do stuff with. So we're going to use these to layer with the ephemera and the photos. I don't know if we're going to use picture, I mean flowers. I'll bring them out just in case. But we'll see. This is going to be a long live, you guys. <laughs> Get a cup of coffee or something. <laughs> I'm going to be up for a while, so not even 10 o'clock yet. Yep. Okay, here's this pink. And I think is adorable. It's like a mauve pink. Real cute, real cute. It's my first time joining you on your live. I want to catch you live. Well, I'm excited you're here, Carrie. Hi, Donna. Ooh, thanks for joining me, Donna. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. Us crazy people. <laughs> Crafting at night, people. Because you got stuff during the day, people. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. There's so many pretty colors. They did really well with this paper pad. This is really nice. I'm telling you, I'm really picky with paper pads, you guys. Really picky with paper pads. Because like I said, I can design them, so it's like, oh, I better be special. Or so plain that it goes with everything. That's, my, that's the kinds I like. Special and plain at the same time. And not neon. I can't deal with neon colors. Okay. That's good. I don't know about that one. This one, yes. Such pretty freaking colors. Yes. I might be an owl. I can't sleep with that one. Yeah, just my be. <laughs> I went online to get a paper punch for edges that look like that. Effect. Just use a ruler, girl. <laughs> just use a ruler. <laughs> What time is it there for you? For me, it's 9.44 p.m. And I go live at 9. Let's just make some strips of this. And now some thicker ones. And some ones and now these blocks 944 in Hawaii it creates whole like the notebooks oh oh I think I have a die cut for that mm, I guess this one would be good too We almost have the whole paper pack cut up. <laughs> and I said I wasn't going to cut it all up. 
I lied, you guys. I lied. <laughs> once you stop, you, once you start, you really can't stop. It's really hard. And I still have to cut up book pages. I want to cut. I want book pages for this too. I think that would be cute. Look. First time watching, I was trying to stick around for the work part of it, but got to go. Good night. I'm sorry. It's kind of slow night. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Catch me tomorrow for the <laughs> for that. You're going to make frosting? Okay, girl. Make me some too. <laughs> Make me some too, girl. Okay. This paper is pretty. Yeah, it's going to be a slow start. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm almost done. Well, I still have to do the book pages too. Sorry. <laughs> And I mean, I was cutting those ephemera and those photos out for a long time, not to mention the printing out time. It's a lot of prep time for these lives. Sometimes I don't get to it all. Okay, okay, that's practically the whole paper pad. The other ones are kind of not for what I need. But that was a pretty good paper pad. I like it. Do you come on very early? Do I come on every day? Monday through Friday, I come on live. And then on Saturday, I have a, a episode, of, not live, but a recorded episode of me showing off what I did during the week. In case you didn't get to watch all the lives during the week, you get to see what I made. And on Sundays, most Sundays... I post a video on my new products in my store. And then Monday through Friday, I go live. That's my schedule for now until it gets really hot. And then I have to figure out what I'm going to do. Okay. So I got the whole paper pad. Cut it up. Cut up. Cut it up. Wow. Wow, Daisy. And now I need it. Get some book pages out, some books. I've got a couple books to cut out from. We'll just do those. I think that's all I have, really. Okay. So I plan on making a lot of them tonight. If all things go right. I've seen this one girl, I think her name is Poodle, Poodle Scraps, Poodle Scraps something, and I was looking through her video list, she goes live for like eight hours, I don't know how anybody goes live for eight hours, I don't know if anybody would stick around if I was taking a break. <laughs> I don't know if that, that's a crazy thing to do, but that's cool. I don't know about going live for eight hours, though. That might drive me nuts. Printing and cutting takes me all day. Yes. Is it winter there? Yeah, it's winter. Pink Poodle Crafts. There you go. She's always on live because it always tells me she's live. And then, I don't think I've ever catched one of her lives, or caught one of her lives, sorry. Caught one of her lives. But I was, I don't know why, I decided to look through her video list. And some videos were eight hours, I was like, whoa. I'm, like, I'm impressed, you know. I don't think I have the attention span. <laughs> I really don't.
But, I mean, I do craft for eight hours at a time sometimes. I'm not going to lie. It has happened. Very much so it has happened. Oh, and if you guys, you guys can follow me on Instagram. I post videos about what I do throughout the day sometimes. Most days I'll post a thing or two on my story. And then I'll also post um, the projects that I make that day. And so this is the projects that I made this week. On all my lives. I weighed this. It's almost about a pound. With the embellishments I'm going to make tonight, this is going to weigh over a pound. I know it. And that's just crazy to me. <coughs> Let me see what other papers I have. Oh, I have this. Um, what else? That's why I'm saying I want to do book projects. Because I have a lot of books. I have a lot of book pages. And stuff. So I want to do stuff with the stuff. Um, let's see. I'm just looking through my book pages here. I guess that's something. What else? What else? Okay, I think that's it. Okay. This is some, like, Betty Crocker book. from the 1970s. I wonder if they have any weird stuff. Three, there can always be a salad. They have those jello salads? Oh my god. They do, no they don't. That's not festive salad mold. Oh my gosh. They have salad molds. Oh, they have the jello mold. Raspberry. Oh, this doesn't sound so bad. Strawberry salad glaze. Oh, it's just strawberries and raspberries. Doesn't have those weird ones. Stuffed tomato mint salad. I don't know. It's a little weird. <laughs> oh, oh, but these index pages are nice. That's real nice. I'm going to have to pay attention and catch you live as often as I can. Hey, I'm here at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm here. Okay, so let's make some strips. Oops, that cut out a little early. Maybe too thin for this paper. Okay. That one's not so interesting. Can't wait to use up my book pages next week. That's what I'm going to be working on. I have done 11 hours, 5. You haven't done an 11 hour stream? Are you serious? That's crazy. Oh my gosh. I mean, if I can take a break and if I can eat, this is not, this paper is not ripping up very well. This is not what I expected. I don't know, like, what do you do when you want to go take a lunch break? <laughs> when you're hungry? <laughs> Everybody just take the 10 minute break. <laughs> Maybe. That's why I keep my stuff to an hour, hour and a half. <laughs> uh, one moment. I gotta get my chapstick. Oh my god, I cannot live without chapstick, you guys. 
chop ain't chapstick. Oh my god. You just grab some food and eat while you're live, trying not to make much noise. <laughs> that is too funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Oops, I'm putting them over here. Could be cutting on more than one page at a time, I guess. <laughs> that could be a thing I do. <laughs> um, I don't know about doing 11 hour streams. Uh, honestly, I don't know. That might not be for me. That might not be my thing. I need to take breaks. <laughs> I was thinking like oh I could do like a live during the day and a live during the night because I do craft all day really actually that day we all had traditional local food here and I showed on the camera and explained how it's done it was fun that's cool well oh, I don't know I don't know. Just cut this quick breads and a hot conversation piece. Okay. Sounds like it. Ah. <sighs> I think one day I did a two and a half hour live. That was the longest I've done. It was fun. It wasn't the worst. But I definitely need a break here and there. If you hear little feet, that's my dog. My mom's dog. I'm dog sitting. So I got a little doggy. Hi Joyce, thanks for joining us. We're just here hanging out, make well, cutting stuff up for the most part. I haven't really made anything yet. I plan on it though. I really do. <laughs> I got too excited and went to Joanne's before I went live instead of getting ready. <laughs> oh my god, why is she supposed to be sleeping? Tell me, I need to know. Did she tell you she was sleeping and she's not? <laughs> I haven't done too many live streams that are over six hours, but I noticed that I had more people coming in after two hours of streaming maybe because different time zones. Maybe, like I said, maybe I could try and go live during the day. It might just be me preparing to go live at night, though. Because that's what I do during the day. Like, I'll cut stuff up. I do want to make more projects with the paper I have. So, I might do longer streams. Or, like I said, maybe, like, a stream in the morning. When I feel like crafting. And then, like, a stream at night. It's almost 8 a.m. here. I slept. No bullying, you guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I 
I do notice sometimes that after, I, yeah, you're right, after I go live for like an hour and a half, two, people start coming in more, right, as I'm going to log off. <laughs> Which is probably not what you want <laughs> on your live. But like I said, sometimes after two hours, it's like my brain needs a break. That's how I would work even if I wasn't going live. <laughs> My brain just needs breaks sometimes. <laughs> Alright, as long as you're okay with it. As long as you're okay with being bullied, then I'm okay with it. <laughs> And of course, I have my bag of lace. I'm excited to use it all. Okay, this might be a little too much paper. <laughs> I have paper for project for days now. But that's good, though. Yeah, I have a nice stash of paper going on. I'm still keeping, keeping going. You must have close to you something to drink. Yeah, I have water. <laughs> but three hour stream have more views than a stream that's under two hours. Hmm. I haven't done a three hour stream. I feel like tonight might be a three hour stream. It's been an hour and I haven't really done much. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's enough of this paper. Let's do this medical dictionary and then we'll call it we'll call it time out on cutting paper up. Oops. Okay, that happens. Okay. Things happen. This paper is boring, so it's going into the trash. Oops, oh my goodness. That just might be the paper's fault at this point. Can't do it too thin, maybe. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Is it too many papers? Why? Like, why? Okay. 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 Now we got all this paper. We got all these scraps we just made because I don't really have scraps. I'm going to turn for this ruler somewhere. It's going to fall. Oh my goodness. Stay somewhere. Just stay. Okay. Okay, finally we can work. Oh my goodness. So I want to layer these little photos on top of some collages. Let me lower down the camera since they're so little. I'm gonna lower the camera down a bit so that you can see what I'm doing. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> Carrie says thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we do here. 
I normally like to put um oh right we'll use a book page as the backgrounds for these I don't really like that and I'm gonna put this here and this yellow here and this little picture here. Oh, that'll be cute like that. Like a little bit offset. Could be a cute little tuck spot or just cute little embellishment. I hope the camera's okay. The, cam the light is good. So I like that. Let's do that. I need a paper clip. I'm going to need my pick clips. Okay. So we'll do that one. And we could also do some with some ephemeras. So let's see. A book page. A thicker piece. Somewhere there's a thick piece. And we'll use a stripe of something. Strip it. Stripe. I'm just going to do a bunch of them that are kind of the same looking. So they're all going to kind of look the same for now. For this style, I'm going to do a bunch of them that look like this. Just a piece of a uh, book page. A thicker scrap page and then a thin strip and then a picture on top just for now. Thank you everybody for the thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Okay, so let's make a little bit more of those. Book page. Thicker scrapbook. And we'll do a strip of pink. And then we'll do a photo. A photo of this girl. How about that? That would be cute. Just like that. Let's keep it going. I'm going to use a little lemon. It's the lemon strip, even though it doesn't really go, but it kind of does. <laughs> it kind of does. See what other little ephemera. We also have little flowers we could use if it's not too much. I don't like that. Oh, we have the butterflies too. We got little butterflies. Let's do it with the little butterfly. Okay, Daisy, you're gonna add lace or anything else? Um. Not these ones. Not yet. <laughs> okay, so we have this. Then we add a thicker strip of something. Then a strip of something. And then a photo. A little witch looking lady. Does she look she, that's a weird hat? I hope this isn't a KKK lady. I don't know. <laughs> that's a really weird hat. That looks like the sorting hat from Harry Potter, you guys. That's a really weird hat. Maybe she's a witch. I'm just gonna say she's a witch. <laughs> okay, so there is that one. 
think those little tiny photos are just super cute. <laughs> okay, so we got... I want to put these little photos here. Okay, so then we need a thicker piece. This wood grain is cute. And then we need a strips. A strips. Let's see. This gray and black is cute. Yeah, we'll put this little lady there. English lady policewoman. Oh my god, look at her. I like her bow. Look how big her bow is. That's kind of adorable. Her bow is so big. I don't like pointy hats. <laughs> I don't know. It looks suspicious. I don't... It scares me. <laughs> Huh. I don't like it. Thicker piece and then a stripe. Let's see. Okay. Oh, look, I keep finding the perfect ladies for every strip. Like that, and like that. Yep, let's do that. Okay, so we already got a couple of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a good bunch. I had a magazine papers that I saved, and we came trash, so I throwed a lot of them away. Uh oh. Um, let's see. Okay, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it going. This, and then a strip of something. And then... I need a photo. So it's like kind of a variation on it. So now I'm going to do this kind. It's just a little bit different. So we got the strip of paper. And we need a thicker part. And then a strip. This is too thick. Slowly pulling it away. Okay. A strip. And we need a photo. Oh, these two ladies are cute. Okay, so I'll move those off to the side. Your scraps are taking over me too. <laughs> I need a craft twice as much as I do live. <laughs> but every time I want to craft, I'm like, oh, I should be crafting live, you know? And then so I don't craft until I craft live, but I kind of need to craft more than that. <laughs> okay, so I got these two, and then we need a photo. So many little choices. There we go right there. These little pictures are so cute. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> okay, so another strip of paper. I thought I had a lot of scrap until I saw Gail. She, <laughs> she does. Like I said, you were. You think you're gonna work with your scraps? 
But then you just make more scraps out of those scraps. And it just like never ends. You have to put a stop to it yourself. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll never be done working with your scraps. If you don't sometimes throw stuff away. It happens. It happens to everybody. Uh, let me see. Let me use this one instead. A counselor. <laughs> okay. That's too thick. Okay, that's a perfect guys. And then I need a strip of something. That's too too short. <clears throat> Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <clears throat> okay. She has a pink dress on. That'll look cute there. Right, that's cute. Put that little lady there. Okay. Now let's see what else we do. What else are we going to do? We could do some of the lace, I guess. I guess. <laughs> oh, we can do some like this. Long ways. I could probably add lace to these ones. This one needs kind of a bigger thing. Yes, that would be precious. This little flower would be precious. I'm constantly trying to find better ways to organize, but I don't get much accomplished. Yeah, it happens to everybody. <laughs> you just kind of move stuff from one side to the other. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> Right, I said something bigger. That's too big and not in the right color scheme. Maybe if I change the flower I'm using, change this background to something pink. Maybe no, that's too small. To this. To this, to that, should be cute. I could even add another piece of paper behind everything. Yep, I could, I could do it like that. That's precious. It's gonna be a little hard to achieve, but it's gonna be worth it. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, that's cute. Okay. So I'm kind of just making a bunch of the same style and just different pieces of scrapbook paper. It's <laughs> kind of what I'm doing. You gotta be there at six? Yep. Damn. Love you. Diddle. Have a good night, baby. Okay. Yeah, I will. You turned it off? Yes. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, let's see what flower I pick over here. Hello, Cindy. Thanks for joining me tonight. Thanks for coming to hang out. <clears throat> I'm slowly... <clears throat> you came to the more action-packed part of the life. <laughs> if you could say that. <laughs> trying to see what flower here I should use. I have some more over here, of course I do. <clears throat> I'm going to pick something more red. But everything seems to be pink. And the one that's red is not tall enough. It's kind of small, and that one's kind of big. <laughs> My life. I could use this white one. Okay, we'll just do this white one. I love watching your process. It really helps me go to create. Oh, that's great. I, that's why I watch other people too, myself. I watch other people and then it makes me want to go try it out. And it's fun. I love watching other people create too. Let's see if this will go with it. It might be a little bit crazy. That does go with it. It's a little extra, but I like it. Okay. So let's sandwich it all together now. And paper clip it. Oops, oops, oops. 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 Oh my gosh. This one's hard to paper clip. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. And something more squarish. I think that kind of goes anyways. Could use the little flowers. Why is none of them the right size? <laughs> They're all a little too big. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> I guess that one will have to do. Okay, and then I need one more piece for the other side. And I just like it like that, actually. So let's paper clip that so to the side. And now let's see what else we make. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. And then maybe like a strip down the middle. Yeah, that would be cute. Just like that. Kind of like sandwiching three pieces of scrap together. Hi, Nancy. Thank you for being here with us tonight. We are just making some stuff. Let's see, these are too big for that. Let's see. We're going to have to make smaller collages. Um, or not. We could do this. And let's see if I have like a square piece of paper or something. No, that doesn't look cute. But I like this together just like that, though. But we're not doing that right now. <laughs> I'm trying to use these flowers and these things over here.
Yeah, let's do this. Paper clips, paper clips. Hi, tea lady. Thanks for joining me. And the rest of us. <laughs> this a piece that covers half of it and then I need a strip of something I can't make any of these ones here we go this strip here and then we put down a flower it's gonna be in the middle and that'll be something to make. So now we get to the next. Hey, nuts. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't with you. <laughs> You're too much, nuts. <laughs> oh my god. Every time. <laughs> Every freaking time not to. <laughs> this look good good here. Oh my god. <laughs> You're too funny. Okay, so I have a nice stash of stuff over here waiting to be sewed together. We're going to keep adding to the stash here. <laughs> See what else we can come up with. Let's see. Oh, oh my goodness. What are we going to do on this one? Are we gonna do? Oh, we can make it like almost like a square on the inside. Yes. And then we can use the little flowers on it. Okay, let's do that. Use it like a frame. So, tomorrow, you guys can catch me. I'm going to make a video where I share everything that I made this uh, this week. In case you didn't catch all my lives, I'm going to show off everything that I made. And then on Sunday, you guys can catch the video of my new printables. New stuff, new stuff coming to the shop. Okay, okay, here we go. This will work. And we're just going to use these little flowers. Oh my god, my cat keep my dog, my cat, my dog keeps going from one bed to the other. She's so silly. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. This purple, I haven't used this purple yet, and I haven't used this yet. <laughs> oh my god. There I go. There she goes. Okay. So we've got these two pieces there, and then we'll put this. No, too big. Too big. Oh, maybe the butterflies would work better with this one. Maybe one of the butterflies. Oh, that little butterfly looks cute there. Okay, let's put it there. <laughs> the 
Let's do it with the butterflies. Need more paper clips. Okay. So again, I can do the purple one again. Why not? Why not? Nope. Nope. I don't like it. I don't like it. This little lady on her bike could be cute here. Okay, let's do that. Why not? Why not? <laughs> my cat is in the room because I have my mom's dog. She's on vacation, so I'm taking care of her dog. <laughs> so my cat's in the other room. Well, it's not so hard when you use the paper pad, you know what I mean? When everything coordinates already, it makes collaging very much easy. An easy process. And I'm kind of just doing the same, because I, I cut up all these papers kind of the same. So I'm just kind of repeating the same pattern over and over and over. Like, like I said, I'm using two pieces in the middle. And that's what I'm doing over and over and over and over. And I kind of cut all the pieces the same way. Strips and squares and rectangles. So it's pretty easy. It's pretty much already done for me. Oh, the little bike would be cute. Oh, she's cute. I don't think she goes with it. Maybe a flower. I don't know yet. Or maybe a butterfly. <laughs> Sometimes it's not as easy as it seems. <laughs> no, I don't like the butterflies at all. What are we going to do? Ugh, let me find another picture. These are just so teeny tiny. <laughs> I love it. We'll just put her in the middle. <laughs> she can be in the middle. Okay. Half this piece, half this piece. in the middle and then we pick something that one will go good okay let's see what else we do now we go to different shaped paper Here's some that are kind of shaped the same. So we get this. And we can get, let's see. Two things over here. Stripe. 
And kind of like a smaller piece maybe in the middle and then a stripe and then it'll be a photo maybe one that is landscape instead of portrait there's this little marriage scene that could go but i don't see the background though so maybe I need a bigger piece of that. Nope, that's not big enough. There we go, this is big enough. And then a stripe of some sort. And then a photo. And that'll be that. These things are so basic, but very artistic at the same time. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, a piece of paper. And I need a square in the middle. And then I need a stripe. And then I need a photo. Again in landscape mode. I think she's supposed to be standing up though. These pictures are so tiny, I love them. They're just teeny, teeny, tiny. Here's these little kids in a bathtub. We could put that there. Daisy, dare I copy? Dare, care if I copy what you're doing? Definitely not. This is actually inspired by Gail Greenfield. These little, minus the photos, but the little collages. And I think she was inspired by the Mushroom Market on YouTube. So, no problem with me. I didn't come up with it, but you definitely can try it out on your own, for sure. Let's see. The music thing. Make a stripe with it. And then we need a landscape photo. I didn't know I was going to have to use so many landscape photos. Ah, here's one. This little mom. That's cute. Gonna do that. And we have more. Two more of the same size. <clears throat> we're almost, we're, well, we're getting a nice chunk of this paper pad used up, that's for sure. So, square in the middle, stripe of some sort, let's get up, I want a pink stripe, I don't know if I used them all up, oh, this is cute too, thank you, aren't they adorable, they're so tiny, they're from one of my ephemera sets on my shop, and I printed them out on photo paper, and I printed them out really small. They're so cute. Or maybe, yeah, it could be like this, I guess. What am I talking about, Daisy? It doesn't have to be landscape. Jesus. <laughs> Get a grip, girl. Even though there's these little bike people, and it would be kind of cute here. See, I'm going to do these little bike people. <laughs> That's too cute. They're little people on bikes. Little tiny bikes. <laughs> little teeny tiny bikes. Um, okay, so let's see. Got another piece. I need a square for the middle of it. 
and then a stripe. more lively, it's too thick, too, okay, this purple's cute, let's do this purple, a bit too long, but that's okay, and then a photo, it could be this way, of course, duh, Daisy, and this little lady, she would be so cute, so let's do that. I've got such a huge pile, you guys. Look at this. This is a nice, nice pile. Right? It's going to be a lot of fun sewing. <laughs> I should probably get some sewing done now. Yeah, let me get some sewing done now. Otherwise, my back's going to hurt if I sew for two hours straight again. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, let me get everything out the way. Oh, I don't have bags for this. Okay, so put them behind this here. And we'll just set it off to the side. Yep, I'm just going to move it off to the side. <laughs> Not even going to deal with it. Let's get everything out the way. Get everything out the way. Okay, out the way. So, I'm going to do some in white. No, 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 I'm not. I want the dark red. I bought this really nice dark red thread. Gosh darn it, I'm going to use it. <laughs> Don't try and stop me, okay? Don't try and change my mind. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Give me one moment while I change my thread here. And of course, thank you everybody for giving me a thumbs up. Everybody, thank you. I appreciate it for thumbs up. Let's see here. I got my dark red. Look at this gorgeous dark red thread. Just gorgeous. Freaking love it. Okay. Get this out the way. And I got two bobbins of that thread. And let me get this. This way in here. Let's get this in here, over here, down, up, down. Okay, don't blame me because you love thread. You love uh, lace now. Oh no, that's all you, girl. <laughs> that is all you. Every time I do this, I'm amazed because I'm basically doing it blind. I feel like I can't see the hole, but here I go. Here we go. Around. Okay. Okay, we're all set to we're all set to sew now. Let me get the camera angle right. Down low. All the way down low. Okay. Get the light over here. Get the camera right. Okay, we're ready to roll, you guys. We're ready to roll over here. Okay, so. I'm going to be real extra, okay? I could have just glued these down, but of course I'm not. I'm just going to do a quick uh, zigzag stitch. In case you guys don't know, this is my sewing machine. I show you guys every time I go live. But there's always new people. I use a runway, Project Runway, um, limited edition, CE1125PRW. This is my sewing machine of choice at the moment. It might not be in a couple months. I don't know, but it is for now. <laughs> for now, this is what I am using. Let me see, it looks a little crooked. Okay. I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch. 
that's really long and really wide, so it'll be really fast. Just so. Look at that dark red. It's lovely. Just lovely. Okay, so now I got to sew the little photo on. And I'm going to use this stitch also, but I'm just going to make it a little wider and just a tiny bit longer. Not as big, not as wide as this one. So this is what they're all going to look like. Just have a zigzag stitch running down the strip and then around the photo. I'm going to do the zigzag stitch around all the photos like this. So that one's done and now this one's a little bit different. For this one I think I'll just sew around the photo because it is in the middle and it'll hold everything together. I should have sewed down the middle just because it would have looked cooler but here we go it just did a little square down the middle I could probably sew this side no nah, it'll be let me just sew this side just because I feel like I it needs a little bit more more stitching let me do a different stitch um I don't want it to be too compact because of the paper because it's book paper so it's not as thick even this stitch might be too much but I'm gonna do it anyways <laughs> see what happens it looks good it looks good it looks good Just did a little extra stitch there, just to make it feel special, even though I didn't actually grab on, because I think I made too many holes, but that's okay. Okay. Okay, let's do this one now. Like I said, I'm going to do the ones down the middle first. Let me stitch something. I think I'm just going to stick with the zigzag because of all the book paper. It's kind of delicate. And I don't want it to poke big holes. That's what I don't want. Bye, Lori. see you tomorrow for my new video then maybe if you're here on Monday we'll see Monday appreciate you hanging out with us I'll be here 9 p.m. on Monday See Monday. No problem. All right.
am really liking this dark red thread. It's really cute, dark red thread. It's almost a uh, magenta. No, ma maroon? Yeah, it's almost maroon. And I like that. Okay, so there's that one. Now let's do this butterfly. Oh, right, I gotta do the thing down the middle. Here we go. Oops, sorry. I didn't realize I wasn't on camera. Isn't it? It's just really nice. See, what am I doing here, Thread? What am I doing? Okay. Should have probably used some lace, but I don't know why I'm not. <laughs> Guess it's not too late. think the brother sewing machine is the best for this type of stuff um i think it is because of the price um this one was 139 dollars and the one i got before it the older model was only 89 dollars so i think that for the price i think it's a great deal you get all these stitches and it's a pretty professional um sewing machine I got it because I was recommended it by um, I'm a Cool Mom on YouTube. She said that her mom is like a professional sew, sew person, <laughs> sewing person, professional, <laughs> and that she was really impressed by this sewing machine. So that's why I got it. Plus, like I said, it was only $89, and I've never had a sewing machine in my life. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money for my sewing, my first sewing machine, but I didn't want to buy a real cheap sewing machine, you know, like a toy sewing machine almost. So she recommended me this one and it has really worked out for me. It's really cute. It's real cute, you guys. And bought me a brother for my birthday and I love it. Um, I have had a problem, like I had a return... I've had two of these sewing machines. Well, three. The original one I had to return because it had an issue. Um, maybe there was a way to fix it, but I didn't know how. The sec. This is my second. No, no. The second one also had a problem. But they didn't want to fix it because they said I had done something to it, which I don't even know how. I don't even know how I could have broken it. But try arguing with them. And so then I bought this one. <laughs> and I bought this one just because I already have all the bobbins for it. And I already know how to use it, you know. But I did decide that if this one doesn't work out, then I will try a new brand. So like I said, I've never had a sewing machine, so I couldn't tell you if it's the best one. But I know that for the price and for the functions that it does and that it has, it's pretty good deal. So there's that one. Here comes this one. Ooh, that kind of ruined the photo, though. Hmm. I gotta keep an eye on that. Let me get another photo. This photo paper is not the best at all. Like I said, I'm glad I didn't use it for my um, mystery boxes. Because it is not good. Not good quality. Which I suspected. Okay. 
Hey, Brenda, how are you, girl? Thanks for joining us tonight. We are just having some fun, you know. I used to sew years ago when I discovered my first husband. I lost, when I divorced my first husband, I lost a lot of things. My sewing machine was one of them. So 21 years later, my aunt bought me a new one. What would he want with your sewing machine? Though? That's weird. That new sewing machine, new life, whatever. <laughs> you're good, you're good. All right. Here we go. Oh my god, it sounded like there was somebody at my window. That would have freaked me out. <laughs> oh, okay, so no paper clip on the photos next time. I'll just have to pile them on. Oh, let me do this first. Let me do this. Oops, it's sliding around. Oh my gosh. It's killing me. Okay. I see, that's rude. So unnecessary. <laughs> it's pretty petty. I'm good. Finally cut up on projects and should have walked through the design team project up on the weekend. How are you? I'm good. I am good, girl. Having fun this weekend. Having fun. This week, I should say. This week has been really fun. And I know for sure I'm going to have a pound. So this week, I created basically a pound of embellishments. I, don't, I didn't think it was possible, but I weighed it, and this is 0. 0.7 pounds. 0. 0.7 pounds. So it's all, it's well over half a pound, and it's on its way to a pound. So I can't wait to see that <laughs> that number on the scale. <laughs> Put them all together, and I was like, I wonder how much this weighs. This is crazy. All right. Here's that little embellishment. Real cute. Sorry, with the little bikes. Love it. I have my camera set to the right setting. I should have checked that before. <laughs> before I went live. <laughs> okay, okay, it happens, it happens. <laughs> okay, so let's sew this onto here. Looks so cute. See my fingers turning black because the ink rubs off on my fingers from this paper. That's not good. <laughs> but at least it's just the embellishments. <laughs> I didn't make the I didn't make the mystery sets out of this paper because I didn't like the quality of it. It's 2 a.m. Need to hit the bed. All right, girl. Bye, Carrie. Hopefully we see you tomorrow. I got a new video. 
Sunday I'm going to have a new video, and then Monday I'm going to go live. So come and hang out with us. And you got a chance, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every day, Monday to Friday. We'll see ya. Okay, now this one. String out the way. Why is the string doing this? Okay. Oops, nope. I moved the photo. Nope. 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 No, you won't. No, you won't. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me get this cut out here. Oof. One moment. I just made a mess. Okay. I don't know what just happened, but the photo moved. <laughs> These darn slippery things. I got a football game to catch tomorrow. Cowboys, all right. Have fun. Oh, okay. Let's see. Tired of some embellishments yet. Not yet. Not yet. I think I was bent over cutting too much stuff earlier on my cutting thing. And I think I might have been bent over too much, hunched over. <laughs> Maybe a little much. Okay, so this one. But right now, I'm okay. I could keep going. Two hours for me is a long stream. Like I said, the longest I've ever done was two and a half. That was pretty wild. And most of that time I spent just sewing. <laughs> most of the time was just sewing. Ooh, I forgot to sew that, that down the middle. Oh well. Okay. Sue me. <laughs> okay, let's sew this down the middle. I'm not using any fancy stitches. I'm just using regular zigzag here. Just because that's what I'm in the mood for. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. Go. Just doing a bunch of sewing. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. These two. Photo. 
sewing teeny tiny little photos. <laughs> Alright. These are coming along very well. Very well, very easily. Not much to sew, so that's nice. Cause I got a lot of them to do. So far, I've got these done. These have gone pretty well. Did a lot of the same design, so it's pretty easy to put together. So let's just keep on trucking. Here we go. I think on this one. Stop there. There we go. And now I said it was going to be this one. So, let's see, I don't want to show the corner. Go to this one, this little girl here. Okay, let's sew these pieces together here. Uh, let's sew it over here. Okay, now let's do the little photo lady. off because I did it the wrong way. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Oops. Oh, my back hurts from being hunched over now. That's not good. That's no bueno. Okay, let's see how this is going to go. Let's see. Okay. There we go. but it didn't. I like this one. This one's pretty, pretty cute. Now let's do this one. With this paper down the middle. Oh, should go down. Okay. Okay. 
All right. That looks good. That looks good. Now this flower. Or should we do it this way? Could do a different flower, maybe. And then do it that way. Let's see if I have a different flower. Yeah, this will look better. Okay. That's my little collage for this one. I switched it up a little bit. I switched up the picture. Mm. I need to grab more water. Okay, let's do this and this one over here. Flower in the middle. Oops. Needle up. Flower in the middle. Okay. Not too in the middle. It's not so in the middle. Okay. Here we go. Of the bottle, yeah. I just kind of threw it. <laughs> my microphone's real good, you guys. I got a really nice microphone. <laughs> Thank you, microphone. <laughs> good quality, <laughs> you get real good surround sound. <laughs> the best surround sound. <laughs> hey, that, that means it's worth the 50 bucks. That's good. <laughs> hot in here this little heater is too hot Hang on. maybe that's just me no it's at 80 degrees in here it's getting it pretty toasty i'm i'm sweating okay let's do this lady over here Ugh, get my little my little foot thing Too. I'm in Bama. Well, I have my heater on, otherwise, I would just be in my electric blanket. I bought an electric throw blanket and it's life changing, you guys. <laughs> Real life changing things. <laughs> I love it. I love my little heated blanket. I got a heated blanket and I got a heated throw blanket. <laughs> Some special. Let's do it down here. It's under forty. Oh no, that's too cold for me. 
I can't survive in that weather. I just can't. Thirty-two here. It's so cold that I cannot sit or craft. Uh oh, it's too cold, you guys. I'm not a cold weather type of person. I'm just not. What was this? How did? What did I do with this? I think. Okay. Okay. Right is under my desk, thank goodness. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that would help. So I'm gonna do two more. Just because I want to. I'm gonna put this little flower here. I mean, it's cold, but my heater always makes it too hot. It's not that cold here, really. I mean, compared to other places where it snows, I guess it's not that cold. But my little house is not doesn't have the best insulation. So it gets a little colder here than normal. Uh, we don't have central heating. It's just a small one in the bedroom. Ah, it's too cold. I wonder how much it costs to send stuff to to Greece. I have a little heater, but it takes up too much electricity, really. Okay, okay, okay. So for this, we're kind of doing the same thing. Okay. okay, and now this one, we'll just do these two sides, why not? Just this side and this side. That's all I'm gonna sew. And then get everything off here. These little strings, and then let's get this on here. I think I'm gonna do a straight stitch for it around because I think that would look cute. Let's see, here we go. Then I also have all the lights shining in my face. So that kind of heats it up here too. Oof, 46, that's so cold. She is in Greece. Oosh. Slow. Are so good. That one 
it off just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. All right, here we go. That was it. Okay, this one was a little bit different because I put a single border around it. That was fun. So far we made all these. Oh my goodness. It's a nice little stash. We got a couple more to do. <coughs> Just a couple. Let's see what happens. Probably get into making more of these. Oh. I forgot that was straight stitch. I don't want straight stitch, but whatever. <laughs> it's in the background anyways, but let me do a zigzag stitch on the edges. We just got done with 10 days of 10 days of rain. What? Sounds crazy. That's insane. Ten days of rain. What? Sounds like a nightmare. Okay, this will be over here. Last year we didn't have so much rain and cold. It's just the good winter, I guess. Hasn't been too bad around here. Desert life. <laughs> Desert life doesn't change by much unless it's summer. Then it's really hot. Really, really hot. <laughs> Doing this here. One moment. Okay, let's see here. for my taste. Nope, it's supposed to be this little lady here. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, it had to be that way. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, she's not even on there. What the heck? What happened? <laughs> she got sewed, but she didn't got sewed on.
What did you have for dinner? Hmm. I had a Taco Bell burrito. I mean, Taco Bell taco. <laughs> real healthy, real healthy. <laughs> there goes that. Okay, we're about to reach my longest, um, we're about to reach my longest, um, live. <laughs> My longest live was two and a half hours. We're coming up on that now. Crazy. You're making tacos right now. Probably you and half of America. Is making tacos right now. And the other half is making pizza. <laughs> All right. I'm really, really liking this red thread, though. Like, really, really liking it. These look way better when I scan them and you guys can see them. Okay, let me do this one. Oh no, I pulled the thread out. Oh no. Why? Why? Okay, here we go. That red is my fave so far. Right? It's from Walmart. It's this really nice dark red. I think it's just called dark red. I believe so. I was gonna have a nice vintagey look, and I was right. <laughs> I was right. Go. Yeah, the turquoise is nice, too. I just didn't think it went with this paper pad. I don't think this paper pad calls for turquoise. <laughs> did 100 printables. Hopefully I did it all right. just did all the orders. I will look it over. But I'm sure you figured it out just fine. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. I will get your order out real soon. Okay, here, this is going to go down the middle. There we go. I also have dark brown and green I could use, but I just wanted to use this dark red for this that is appropriate I'd already put white and then I was like no no this red is perfect <laughs> That good vintage look. Okay. Made so many. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, here we go. I need to get water. I'm thirsty now. Let me go get a bottle. Um, how will you use them? These are going to be just for me to decorate the pages. Let me see if I can grab a journal. I mean, I'm just going to stick it on the page. I might find some like cute words or I might make like a cute words printable. So that way I can add just like a cute little word here and then just call it a day. But I'm just going to put them in the journal. I think just like that. That's the plan. Um, let me see if I have a plain journal. I probably do. Okay, so let's see. Here's a journal. Let me just back it up here. So here's a journal I have. It would just go like that. Or down here. And you can just glue it around and that could be a pocket. Or you can just glue it on top and that could be a tuck spot. So it's just going to be added on just like that. Must do custom journals I saw for sale. I don't have custom journals, but I have journals that I have for sale right now. They're in my shop under the handmade section. But I don't do custom journals. I just kind of like to do what I like to do. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure people wouldn't get too demanding, but it might take the fun out of it for me. <laughs> okay, let me get my uh, view back to the, to the sewing machine. Whew, it's hot in here. I need to tie my hair. Okay, I got a couple more. Four more to do. <laughs> and then I'm going to decide what I'm going to do. If I should go live again, more. I was about to say, lift us up. <laughs> okay. And now that I upgraded my setup, I don't know. I don't think you can see my microphone. Wait, let me see if I can. Swivel this? No, I can't swivel that. Nope, it only swivels that way. I was going to show you guys my new microphone stand, but I can't. <laughs> it won't let me. <laughs> okay, so this little butterfly is going to go over here. I am going to do a video on how I go live because Irina requested it. So I want to show her how I do my thing. Maybe some of you guys want to know how I go live. I have kind of a technical setup. I forgot a microphone and everything. I guess it's not really necessary to have a microphone, but I... I like to be extra. <laughs> yeah, I just got a new um, stand for it. Because the stand that it was on, I like kept knocking it over and I don't want to break my microphone. <laughs> so I put, I did post it on my Instagram stories. I just can't. Well, okay, okay, wait, I forgot I could lift it out. I could lift it out the way. Can't really see it, but like it moves. It's like attached to my desk. It's pretty cool. Now I can't like knock it out the way. <laughs> I was, I was too excited about it. It was like $11. <laughs> Way too excited about microphone stand. <laughs> okay, now this one goes like this. out the way. Like yes, 
I love it. I love, love, love that. I love that I can't knock it out the way now. That's. <laughs> I like that I can't drop it on the floor anymore. That's the part I like the most. <laughs> Definitely my favorite part of it. I dropped it twice and I've been so nervous about it. very loud and clear oops and I then I knock over my camera lovely why is it so loose what did I hit oh <laughs> very clear awesome good because I did a lot of research on what microphone I should get the microphone and the camera that I bought Probably cost fifty dollars each, so it's fifty dollars for the camera and fifty dollars for the microphone. I'm gonna do a video probably next weekend on the equipment that I have. Okay, okay. Do this here. Arena will start doing videos again. She wants to do live videos, so I want to teach her how I do them so she can start doing her videos. So I know she wants to craft, but maybe she doesn't want to record. Maybe she just wants to hit the live button and just go live. That's possible. Oh my god, okay, we're done. Woo! Woo, you guys. We're all done. <laughs> I was just about to hit too long. My head kind of hurts now. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I could do longer than two and a half hours. So I'm going to call it a day with this live. We did a lot today. I think I might start going live during the day because I need to do way too much stuff. And I don't want to do it not live. <laughs> kind of want to just keep going live when, I, when I'm online. Gail mentioned in a video that she wanted to learn how to do live. Yeah, I'm going to do the video next week, and hopefully everybody likes it. Um, I know it's the new cool thing to do right now to go live, so it'd be fun. Uh, I just looked up, you know, on YouTube, how to go live on YouTube. <laughs> but I didn't like, I'm not like an IT person or anything. I don't do anything without YouTube. Let's see, my, yeah, my head is hurting. Ugh. But I know I'm probably going to want to keep scrapbooking, but my head hurts. So what are you going to do? So I'll be la I'll have a video tomorrow just showing these off in case you didn't see all the embellishments I made this week. Um, and then Sunday, new products in my store. And then Monday, we're back to live. I might do a daytime live on Monday. Like I said, I have so much work to do. It's not even funny. Thank you, guys. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. If you guys want to do what I did, of course, go ahead. No problem whatsoever. I did a couple different combinations that are pretty easy to copy. Just, you know, on a piece of book paper, two pieces of scrap paper, and then something in the middle. You can make a bunch of those. And they're pretty fun. So like I said, you know, a piece, uh, piece of book paper, a small scrap, and then a, uh, a thin uh, strip. 
pretty easy to do. Um, and then, like I said, I use the ephemera sets. I'm going to put the links down in the description down below. Um, but I did have a lot of fun hanging out with you guys today. I do appreciate you guys joining me. Um, thumbs up if you guys like this video. I guess you could also thumbs down if, if you didn't. <laughs> You're free to do what you want. I'll see you guys on Monday. I'll be back live. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Have a good night, you guys, or whatever time of the day it is over there. Have a good one. Bye-bye.